let's get this demo first so this is a dotnet core web api along with ef core and retry mechanism so if any fail uh, your connection connection established time or you know it's proper not connectivity on your db so it will fail and also it will retry based on your specific uh, retry uh, attempts so let's get a start so see as of now what i have to done for the local testing purpose so i just stop my sql server connection so that as of now there is no connectivity so once i will you know uh, call that uh, endpoint any endpoint so i just create one endpoint to connect our db so let me execute so when i execute see it will not proper connect because our sql server is down so it will what you know the default whatever the connectivity is time it will it will try if it is fail so then our retry will start okay so yeah i specify five times so they will start that uh, five retry logic and once in between also if it is not stable properly connection so it will throw exception and go back but in the you know in between of their retry attempt if it's got success so see now see start that retry you know mechanism and i think it is two and three is done so in between what i will do i will just start my server so once i yell server so see once i done server it's getting populating and also getting the value and also i can show you how many times actually it's retry so if you go to top it just start from here uh, there is a main exception okay yeah see just start over here and they will just start retry after zero millisecond and then this is one and then if you go to down see this is that another retry and if you go down this is another retry and if you go down so this is another retry so after that i guess uh, we have just uh, you know we enable that connection so after four retry actually they see here that we are getting the data properly so that will be implement so before implementation i'm especially recommend go to my channel you can watch many many other things like dot net core web api dapr clean architectures azure service bus queue locally local emulator you know also you know many many things so uh, and also uh, whatever you know uh, i will take a one repository that is simply you know creating a dot net uh, .NET 8 along with just uh, EF core so that also you can available in my github link so you can take it uh, I don't want to create again because you know many times I just create same thing so that's why I just taking uh, wasting of time so yeah let's get to start implementation so see this is the same example this is a simple example I'll show you uh, this is .NET 8 okay and here what I have done uh, just simply is a, I have a block controller so before that block control I'll show you I just created what DB context so this is a DB context and I just create a one entity and DB set over here and uh, also we have created a one entity and uh, migration also have done and if you go to program.csql just uh, just a configures our DB context that's it it is a simple application along with db con db dot uh, net core web api and db context with the entity framework right so if you run so there's a nothing you can get the data simple you can get the data uh, just to create a one endpoint yeah see this is a block endpoint i consume the db context class and get this db set that's it nothing is actually see nothing is a fancy so what i will do now i will implement in this dotnet core application uh, that retry mechanism so that our db if it is failed to try to connect if sometimes you know db server down or some issue so you know if it is failed so whatever attempt i we specify suppose five attempts ten attempts so they will try to ten attempts and once it's get up so it will return back to data if it is not then definitely it will throw the uh, it will complete their attempts right and then fail it so let's get to start so first what you need to do uh, first actually uh, go to here that program.cs file here actually there's a mechanism actually default entity framework provide that you know uh, that uh, extension method so if you use that one 
so let me add that one first then I, I explain actually what is the issue of that one so that's why I, I will I will create a custom one also and what is the flexibility and custom one as well so what I need to do simply I here just you know inside this you know see if there is a application builder option dot use whatever provider inside after that connection is string what you can see there is a multiple overload param method right so I will use the second one and here the second one what I need to do just create a, another uh, lambda expression like provider provider option and uh, provider option provider option dot enable C this is actually entity framework provide enable retry on failure and if you use this method and inside this method see there is a overload method if you use default so whatever the default uh, retry the count and you know delay time they will use but yeah there is a mechanism also you can specify suppose for example uh, there is a four overload method right so if you check see first overload method is actually asking only just retry count second overload method actually asking to uh, error number to add how many error actually you want to add so then four one is you know retry along with the delay count as well and that third uh, also that error number so you can just specify as well for example i want to five retry count and uh, if you want to time stamp or delay time stamp so you can use that uh, from second or let me bring back to new line so that you can see uh, easily here suppose i, I can specify this five after five uh, millisecond actually will start and also adding whatever time they will add uh, their time and also what i can do over here the third parameter expected here it is uh, just a nullable so you can just pass the nullable parameter but yeah uh, there is a call it you know add whatever error you can just add so you can add it over here so that is not a very you know usable things but yeah you can use it so yeah see like this way you can use it but yeah on this uh, method actually if you use that default one so i'm not replicate actually uh, if you fail our connection string so i'm not replicate and i'm not able to show you actually it is very hard to show that uh, that here but yeah you can use it it is in build one so you can use it but yeah one more thing i will show you where i can actually prove like uh, yeah it is retry happening and how many retries actually it's going on right so for this what i will do simply i have to just comment this guy uh, let me comment this guy and i will create a custom strategy for this retry mechanism in ef core so there's an another way they provide actually you can create a custom approach as well so let me stop that and as of now just remove this guy and go to your solution here inside data or you know, anywhere if, as per your architecture you can put over here what i will do i'll just create a new class the class name call as it is uh, the strategy right so what would be the my uh, class name over here custom custom executions strategy whatever name you can want you can just put it over here so i just created this guy and here what i need to do I simply I have to add that uh, one one class actually one abstract class I have to use over here that is called an you know, execution uh, strategy and this is coming from you know entity framework in storage and we have to implement something so go to implement what is the default one they asking implement abstract class C this is actually uh, the should retry so in 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 build also they using that should retry but we don't know actually what kind of exception they actually compare and they actually return so that is actually important so that's why i'm not able to uh, you know show like okay how what is the exception they actually uh, you know comparing right so here you can just simple you know whatever exception if you while to try to connect so you can if you return as a true so whatever exception like suppose while connecting you know uh, sql exception or any other exception if you get so it will true and they will start to retry if it is false so that means they will not 
you know retry so that's why it is important like what kind of error you just compare you can just compare it so as of now i will just compare one thing over here so that you can understand actually what actually doing this method so get exception exception and now get type over here i'll just compare uh I'll just compare over here our type so what would be the our type so let me type off and specify my you know sql action because i using sql so that that i can compare for sql if you use other data provider for example oracle and for example other one so you can just use uh, based on your exception you can just compare so in here i'll as a demonstration i can show you that sql exception so use that sql exception this one so sql exception coming from data sql client and just set and you can just simply return over here so now see just i just compare you know whatever exception we are getting so that if it is equal to sql so then it is true and they will retry one more time they will retry one more time if it is false then it will stop the retry right so that is actually mechanism of that should retry and one more thing actually we have to do over here actually we have to implement some overload uh, you know constructor const overload constructor over here so that i can call this constructor in our here instead of calling that inbuilt one so that mechanism i have to I have to just create it over here so first what i will do i will just create a default one so create a default constructor and here i have to uh, now uh, expecting the parameter here that x you know execution strategy dependency okay and this is dependency if you go to end here just specify that uh, execute strategy and bring back that so that we can easily see and now what i need to do see in this class we have a base class method right base constructor so what i will do i will use that base and let me bring back that and we have to see in this base method what they expecting see there is expecting uh, that uh, dependencies and max retry and max retry delay right so the dependency what is my dependency this is my dependencies execution dependencies and uh, if you see over here that uh, no other two parameter is max retry and max retry delay so i will use as a default this one i will keep it default so that if anyone use if anywhere you want to you want to use the default one so you can use this custom as a default uh, constructor it just pass the dependencies and they will use that in execution whatever default retry count so if you go to in this here so see default count is this provide six and also default max delay is a 30 second right so that is a default one so you can use it the default same way i can use that uh, execution strategy dot max uh, default max delay right so see this is one completed now i will create one more which i can specify how many attempts i want because it is a taking a default right but yeah that that uh, another overload constructor in this custom uh, execution strategy that will be allowed to you know based on your attempts right so what would be the our attempts like for example max uh max retry count i can just take it this guy the max retry count and make it this and then second one would be expected parameter over here as uh, a time span time span and the max delay right so max delay so these two things just replace whatever the default we have set for that default constructor we can replace it and uh, that is done now see i just create a two overload constructor so based on this whatever our requirement based on this i can use it if we want to just default one so i can use it the default one if i want to specify you know in our attempt so i can use this one so i will use this both i will show you how we can use the both one but now this custom execution strategy has been completed now go back to your program.cs file here 
I have to use right so how we can use again very simple use this way uh, with the comma let me add the comma and the second parameter would be this and dot uh, here what I can do simply dot I will use one uh, you know method that is called execution strategy right so this is the execution strategy is a extension method so in this extension method what I can do again I have to pass something I create a lambda expression over here and new whatever our custom class right so what is my custom class which we have created use this guy and this and then if you start bracket so see there's a two overload method which we have created right so this this is a first one which is a default one so if you pass simply whatever your dependencies uh, you know strategy you can pass it so it will call and it will take a default uh, now six time attempt and the 30 seconds are delay but if you want to the second overload method so you can just pass it over here the second overload method suppose for example i want to pass five times or i want to buy ten times so i can specify that also so i will use as a five times and also i'll just use a time span as of now dot from uh from second i will use uh for example as a 10 second right so let me add a 10 second and uh, one more uh yeah so one more bracket is missing so see this is very simple and straightforward right so i just create a new uh, custom execution strategy and i just pass our you know execution dependencies and along with this uh our configuration that's it now i can run my application and check the behavior right and also i'll show you uh, the debugging mode as well so if you click that execution so click that one so that i can show you how many you know once actually it's failed so it's retrying once it's retrying or not right so what i will do simply i can run my application so everything is ready and also i'll show you the side by side so let me so this is one and uh, this is so now as of now uh, our service is running so there is a no issue okay and but yeah uh, in the service i will just stop first let me stop the, our service and once i execute try now execute now see should it try first time and also you are getting that exception so this is a sql server exception okay and once you continue so see uh, your first stem is a start and once you you know meet that you know second stem it will reach again over here so see first stem is starting after zero millisecond and then and definitely it will come a uh, second time after that sometimes whatever we provide right now see it is a second time again once you continue if it is true then it is a uh, again the third time or uh, let me you know start this service so that you know whatever timing taking it should be get the result now see once you start the service it is automatically uh, getting the result and if i show you see now see you will get that result as well right so like this way you can just simply you can implement and one more thing i'll show you for my controller i think that i missed to show you now see this is a controller which i just simply inject our you know, that block context whatever context but yeah you can use as a service and then the service also can use but yeah here just simply is a simple application so here what i will do i just create a, a try catch block so that you know we can show you like okay if you exceed that time you know retry counts also we can capture over here so that also in actually we can we can prove it so that's why i can use this exception so that's all for this session and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share and have a nice day